day-to-day -day life was tough. But Morell says Stolman, who was working to help rebuild Iraq's legal system, stood strong. Did you ever sense that he was depressed? Oh, never. A triathlete, he was known to work out every morning. We had people that had worked in sport. We had people that had worked in the horse racing industry. Concordia's recruitment efforts are impressive, but they have a fight on their hands. We desperately need about 80,000 people to harvest fruit and veg this year. So you need 80,000. Even if you get, you know, quite a few more, you could still be looking at only half the workers you need. We expect to be short penning what happens internationally. You know, whatever we do, we have to make sure that everyone is safe. Those that are already on the farm and those that were recruited to join them. So that's number one priority. The rest is finding the right people. Everybody's got to change the way that they work and they go up and down to multiple musicians, but obviously there's not people standing watching it, okay? Anyway, we'll see what it's like. It's a load of musicians performing for us via technology. Very peaceful. Got my selfie stick. Don't know where it's any good. It kind of has a bit of a twist on it when it uh, when I'm filming. But, uh, as long as I don't waggle it around too much, it's okay. Put it in, in there like that. I'm going to shove that along there. Yeah. Do that, do that. Right, let's have a see. I don't know that. It's going to come to the hill. Is this the one? Got a kind of semi professional filmmaking kit on there, and I've forgotten what the name of it is. But it cost me money. And the next grade up is £10 more. I don't mind really. There's a, then there. Yeah. We had spaghetti bolognese for Sunday lunch. Well, the reason being is that um, when I got the jar from the uh, supermarket, I dropped it and the lid came off and I didn't, I didn't notice that the lid had come off. I got home and it bottom off the bag but ever so slightly, ever so slightly, a little bit of sauce, so I thought, mm, use that up quick. So today we've had bolognese for Sunday lunch. Guess what? Guess what? You guess. I didn't take the fat out of the bit of the meat. Didn't take the fat out of the meat at all. Bad me. Yeah, we've got here now. See if it's uh, focusing on me. This has got um, a focusing peak on it. Press this A button. There's a button called A on there. No, place the It's not like it's a bad area or, or all like that. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the police came round apparently. We're overhearing conversations that aren't ours. Yeah? 
Jeanette wants me. You go and find out what she wants, eh? Sure? Yeah. Can we, can we just check? I've done this right. I've got some epic tales from our days in Horsham. <laughs> I'd love to share them with you now. But sadly, I can't. This is a family show. <laughs> Seriously, though, Alice, the work that you and everybody in the NHS are doing is absolutely extraordinary. And we're all so grateful to you. It's not people age, don't, don't they? I don't really recognise it. Alvin, is this love meant to be their first dance? Who better? With, with Nell and I, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, greetings, this is Skip Marley and congratulations to Alice and Rob. Um, I heard that you guys want to use this love to be the first dance. Oh, they're going to have a dance. Dancing. We're not dancing. This might be the best sentence I've ever uttered. At home, singing a Barbra Streisand classic. Come on. It's just for the Thank you, Global Citizen, for having me. Um, be part of such a, a beautiful thing. Family and friends and people that we should have been celebrating with. I just feel so loved and it's incredible. Would everyone join me in raising their glasses?